I'm in Dunedin this morning visiting the Dunedin Fine Arts Center and we're shifting mediums. We, we were showing some sculpture uh, in the last segment and we're going to move to colored pencils and sometimes they might just use black and white but it is the Colored Pencil Society of America, their annual international exhibition happening right here at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. The one you're looking at right there happened to take best in show. Absolutely amazing. I'm impressed by this one here too with the feet in the water. It's so hard to draw water and make it look so real. Stick around, everybody. We will introduce you to an artist who is not only in the show and took home an award, but will teach you how to do this when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Good day, Tampa Bay. Happy Monday to you. I'm Charlie Belcher in Dunedin, visiting the Dunedin Fine Arts Center where there's always something going on here. Classes, great exhibits, summer camps winding up now as well. And we're talking about this latest exhibit, which is the Colored Pencil Society of America, their international show, which has literally been around the world. And for the first time ever, the show is right here at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. I want you to meet Melissa Miller Nice, who happens to be a part of the Colored Pencil Society of America. You, you have a, a position. Right? I'm that corporate relations director on the National Governing Board, and I've been doing that for about 12 years. Very nice. Happen to also be a, a colored pencil artist yourself. Yes. And, and you teach classes here at the Dunedin Fire Center. I've been teaching here for 32 years. Congratulations. I teach drawing, colored pencil, and oil and acrylic painting, but the biggest class I have is colored pencil. And also happen to have won an award, award for outstanding achievement for this piece right here called Whip Splash. And Melissa, I, I cannot imagine how difficult water must be to draw. I am so impressed with this piece. You need good references. I take photos and I work from my own photos. But it also means getting familiar with water, what water does. And I've been watching it for a long time. <laughs> so I have a feel for how it flows and how it whips around and goes in ropes and veils and all kinds of sheets, yeah. the way it moves. And while you certainly can be abstract with colored pencil, so many are so realistic, like almost photorealism. It's, it's a medium that appeals to people who are really into detail because it's a small point that you're working with. I do miniatures in colored pencil too, it's great for that. But I also like working big as you can see yeah. here, many artists do. What, I was going to say, what is the draw, <laughs> pardon the pun, yeah. uh, why do you love colored pencil instead of chalk or paint or any other form? It's very clean, it's very easy to work with, you can learn a lot of techniques that make it faster and easier to cover large areas. It's um, one of the least expensive color mediums you can get into. You don't need anything special, just a good surface and some pencils and a good sharpener. And can you truly teach anyone how to do this, Melissa? I've been teaching here for 32 years. I've got a great class. Actually, the one with the shoes that's next to mine, that, she was a student of mine for a while. Wow. So we, we have amazing work that comes out of my class as well. And this is a big deal that the Colored Pencil Society <clears throat> would even have this here at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center? It is. We move it around every year. We, we stay in this country, but we try to do it an in-person show. But, of course, this is our first in-person show in three years. Because of COVID. Last time we were in Brea, California. Next year we'll be in Cincinnati. The year after wow. that, I think we're going to uh, Brea again because wow. they love us there. Well, thank you for sharing with us. Yeah, what? I've got one other thing to add. This show, when it closes here on August 13th, is going to move to the Ormond Memorial Museum of Art in Ormond Beach. We, they hosted the show about eight years ago, and they wanted it back when they heard it was in Florida. Perfect. I'll give you the last word, Melissa. Thank you very thank much. You. There you go, Laura Moody. Amazing what people do with colored pencils. Unbelievable. And I know you're kind of into art, too, so you're all about this this morning. I'm loving it. Love it. I know you do.